Good morning everyone. It's Thursday morning and we're going to come and read together this morning from Proverbs chapter 30. It's like change this morning um, in that we've finished the sayings of Solomon and this one this morning, well verse 1 inter- introduces it. So let's read Proverbs 30 together. The sayings of Agar, son of Jake, contain this message. I am weary, O God. I am weary and worn out, O God. I'm too stupid to be a human, and I lack common sense. I've not mastered human wisdom, nor do I know the Holy One. But who but God goes up to heaven and comes back down? Who holds the wind in his fists? Who wraps up the oceans in his cloak? Who has created the whole wide world? What is your name? What is his name and his son's name? Tell me if you know. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to him for protection. Do not add to his words, or he may rebuke you and expose you as a liar. O God, I beg two favours from you. Let me have them before I die. First, help me never to tell a lie. Second, give me neither poverty nor riches. Give me just enough to satisfy my needs. For if I grow rich, I may deny you and say, Who is the Lord? And if I am poor, I may still and thus insult God's holy name. Never slander a worker uh, to the employer, or a person will curse you and you will pay for it. Some people curse their father and do not thank their mother. They are pure in their own eyes, but they are filthy and unwashed. They look proudly around, casting disdainful glances. If They have teeth like swords and fangs like knives. They devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among humanity. The leech has two suckers that cry out more, more. There are three things that are never satisfied. No, four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, the thirsty desert, the blazing fire. The eye that mocks a father and despises a mother's instructions will be plucked out by ravens of the valley and eaten by vultures. There are three things that amaze me, note four that I do not understand. How an eagle glides through the sky, how snakes that slithers on a rock, how a ship navigates the ocean, how a man loves a woman. An adulterous woman consumes a man then wipes her mouth and says, What's wrong with that? There are three things that make the earth tremble. No four I cannot endure. A slave who becomes a king, an overbearing fool who prospers, a bitter woman who finally gets a husband, a servant girl who supplies her mistress. There are four things on earth that are small but unusually wise. Ants. They aren't strong, but they store up food all summer. Haxes, they aren't powerful, but they make their homes among the rocks. That's a badger. Locusts, they have no king, but they march in information. And lizards, they are easy to catch, but they are found even in king's palaces. There are three things that walk with stately stride. No four that strut about. The lion, king of animals, who won't turn aside for anything. The strutting rooster, the male goat, a king as he leads his army. If you have been a fool by being proud of plotting evil, cover your mouth in shame. As the beating of cream yields butter and the striking of the nose causes bleeding, so stirring up anger causes quarrels. Amen. And that's the end of chapter 30 and the sayings of Agar, or Agar. Um, again, a, a sort of a, a, a mixed bag there. It's quite interesting when he talks repeatedly about three things, no four things, and then he, he lists them. But I just want to draw your attention to verses 5 and then 7 to 8. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to him for protection. You know, God God is truth. God tells us truth in his word. He doesn't hold back. Um, 
he lays bare to us just how things are at times and that's very honest so we can trust what he tells us but we can also trust as in the second part of that verse he is a shield to all who come to him for protection he does protect us he does put his arms around us and look after us but there's also those verses there which are very true um two favors that, that he asks for first to never tell a lie so to be honest and to be known to be honest and then not to be either rich or poor but just to have enough you know that's what we all would like in life isn't it to have just enough uh, and that's god promises that he will give us what we need not what we want and yet when we look at this world we see so, pe so many people who have excess and so many people who have so little but that's because of our broken world that we live in but when it comes to god whenever we come to him he gives us just what we need isn't that great to know especially on a day like today as we again continue with the current situation to know that god is with us that he speaks truth to us and that he will give us what we need so whatever you're up to today just know that god is nearby you that he is your shield if you trust him and know that you can trust what he says let's pray together this morning father again thank you for your word this morning thank you for how we can connect with all the different parts of it how different things speak to different ones of us and lord but father we thank you for that your word is truth and again it, it does point us in the right direction it shows us where we go wrong it shows us how to follow you so lord help us to listen to your word but lord in the struggles that we will face today in the struggles that we'll face the rest of this week given the days that lie ahead help us to know that you are with us and that you are the shield that is held in front of us, protecting us. So Lord, thank you and continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining in. See you again tomorrow morning. Meantime, take care and God bless. Bye.